From the city of Z in the jungles of the Amazon to the missing wonder of the world, here are five ancient cities that are still out there waiting to be found. Number 5. The City of Z Sometimes a legend grows not just because of people spreading it around, but because of those who have been lost trying to prove it. Like Colonel Percy Fawcett and the legend of the City of Z. While the conquistadors were the first to truly try and search for ancient lost cities in the jungles of South America, one of the more recent explorations for a lost city occurred in 1925. Colonel Percy Fawcett and his team went into the jungles of Brazil to find a place he referred to as Z, which would later be known as the City of Z. He gave strict orders that should they not give signs of life by 1927, no one should go looking for them. So why was he so dedicated to finding this city? Well, his journey began in 1906 when he was contacted by the Royal Geographical Society to do some surveying on the lands between Brazil and Bolivia. He later went on to arrange further expeditions and mapped much of the Amazon. He earned the reputation of being Britain's best explorer, and his life and stories of the jungles with spiders the size of chihuahuas are said to have been the inspiration behind Indiana Jones. While doing some research, he found a document by an explorer from 1753. The explorer wrote that he had found a city within the Mato Grosso region of the Amazon rainforest. This place was apparently Greek in style and laden with silver. Over the following years, Fawcett set out on many expeditions to continue mapping and exploring and to find the city of Z, but with no success. Anyone who has been to the Amazon or any significant jungle knows that traversing it is not easy maybe even impossible if you're not properly equipped. Many of the men who joined Fawcett on his expeditions died, whether from disease, injury, or animal attacks. His final letter before his disappearance noted that he was trekking through the region and hoped to send good news soon. No letter ever came, and despite his request, rescue parties were sent in after him and over 100 people lost their lives looking for any sign of him or the city of Z. Despite this, there have been many expeditions into the jungles of South America since then, and many cities that had been swallowed by the jungle have been rediscovered. For example, in 2003, a massive pre-Columbian settlement was found now called Kuhikugu. Could this be the lost city of Z? Number 4. Aztlan If history has taught us anything, it's that where you start is just as important as where you end up, which makes the Aztec people one of the biggest mysteries history has to offer. During their prime, the Aztec Empire was one of the most powerful empires that the world has ever seen. But history is baffled in one singular aspect. We don't know where the Aztecs came from. History proves that they were from Mexico, where they dominated for a long time, but originally they migrated there. So, where did they migrate from? Many suspect a hidden origin, one lost to time, the island of Aslan. What's the basis of this claim? Well, it comes from a Nahuatl legend. At one time, seven tribes lived near each other but did not communicate. Then eventually they came to live together in caves. At some point they realized that they spoke similar languages, so they decided to come together to live in a place called Aztlan. Eventually, the people of Aztlan moved from their island home to the Valley of Mexico and became the Aztec people. The migration to Mexico is fact, so much so that the date of their migration is in the first solar year on their calendar, 1064 AD. Despite the legend though, and many expeditions to find Aztlan, or even definitive proof of its existence, nothing has been found. The name Aztlan means place in the north, so people have not only searched Mexico, but even parts of the United States for the missing ancient city. Number 3. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. However, here's the twist. It hasn't ever actually been found. So if it's never been truly found, why is it such a noted piece of history? Well, this all started with a document written by Barosis of Babylon, who noted that in the time of 600 BC, King Nebuchadnezzar II had the hanging gardens built in honor of his wife, Amethyst. According to the documentation, the gardens didn't actually hang, but because of how the plants grew in the gardens, it draped beautifully over the architecture. However, the topic of the hanging gardens is tricky, because Babylon did exist, and many feel that the city itself was actually in what is now Iraq. However, despite knowing where the city was, where the gardens were is unclear. Furthermore, outside of Barossus, the only other documented mention of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon was by a Greek historian named Diodorus Siculus. 
There's no other mention of it anywhere. So was it simply a garden or was it an extension of the city? Was it a compound? It's quite a historical puzzle and we are talking a long, long time ago. There may be a logical explanation for why no trace of the hanging gardens have been found despite expeditions searching for them. Some people say that an earthquake destroyed the garden sometime in the second century. Another possibility is that the sands of the area eventually consumed the gardens, which has also been documented to have happened throughout history. What exactly was this wonder and what happened to it? Number 2. El Dorado The nickname for this legendary city was the City of Gold. This city has been lost in history for centuries and there have been many, many searches for this place. But how did the legend begin? It all started in the 16th century when explorers from Europe heard about the New World and decided to try and find more of it and take it for themselves. The Spanish were one of the more aggressive nations to want to seek out what was in the New World, and they sent the conquistadors to get the job done. Depending on how well versed in history you are, you know how it went. In South America, most likely in Colombia, they started to hear a rumor. A rumor about a place high in the mountains, a city of gold so abundant that the king himself was actually covered in gold dust. The Spanish themselves came upon a tribe that would cover themselves in gold. They called the chief El Dorado, which meant the golden one, because he would cover himself in gold dust and other gold jewelry from head to toe and bathe in a lake. The tribe would throw golden objects into the lake during religious ceremonies. And so the Spanish asked themselves, where did the gold come from? There must be a city just filled with the stuff. And so the legend of the city was born. The legends have changed over the years, but the intent was still the same. Find the city and claim the gold. As you know, no one has found it yet. Or maybe they have and just kept it quiet. That might be a good strategy too. Many famous people have led expeditions to find El Dorado, including famous Brit Sir Walter Riley. He actually led an expedition twice to find the city. It didn't go well at all. Many TV shows and movies have referenced El Dorado over the years, or even been the focus of the plot, including the fan-favorite animated film The Road to El Dorado. It's also been featured in video games too, including Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's not hard to imagine why the myth and the legend of El Dorado persist to this day. It's an intriguing legend for sure. A city made entirely of gold? It does make you wonder if a city like this ever did exist. Maybe it is still covered deep in the jungle, or was swallowed by an earthquake or a flash flood. Either way, the legend continues and the city of gold will always remain out there for those of you who want to seek adventure, wealth, and true and infinite glory. To all of those who dare to adventure for it, I salute you. Number 1. Atlantis Hands down the greatest and longest reigning legend of a city that is rumored to be out there yet still has not been found is Atlantis. It's interesting to note that Atlantis has become a key part of our world's culture. We talk about Atlantis even though we can't actually confirm that it was a real place. However, many people think it was and are searching the oceans and even dried up deserts to this day. It may also be that because we've discovered some lost cities recently and we have new technology, maybe the idea of Atlantis just doesn't seem that improbable anymore. The first record of Atlantis ever being mentioned at all was in 360 BC by the legendary philosopher Plato. He described an island nation that had more advanced technology than anyone in the world before or possibly since. Furthermore, it was said to have a navy that was unmatched. Then it was punished by the gods and it sunk due to a natural disaster. Gods or not. Regardless though, there have been many, many expeditions to try and find definitive proof that Atlantis exists. And while that has gone on, there are many stories and legends within pop culture about Atlantis as a nation. Disney films and of course there is DC Comics and Marvel, who each have their own interpretation of what Atlantis is and isn't. In DC Comics, Atlantis was sunk by the gods or after Neptune used his legendary trident to protect the city from danger, depends on the time period, and has resided in the bottom of the ocean ever since. It is indeed a legendary city that has very advanced technology as well as magic, and it is one of the homes of Arthur Curry aka Aquaman. Atlantis has played a big role in the DC Comics universe over the years. As for Marvel, their version of Atlantis isn't as grand, but it is ruled by the Submariner, aka Namor, who is actually part mutant and is an ally of the X-Men. To find out where Atlantis might be in real life, be sure to check out the video on what happened to Atlantis. Archaeologists and historians are out there right now looking for it. 
The grandness of the legend alone is worth the top spot of cities that are lost and haven't been discovered yet. And you just know that if Atlantis is discovered, and it's even half as grand as we pictured it, the world will never be the same. Thanks for watching! Be on the lookout for these lost cities. Which one of them would you like to see found for real? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!